Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am bringing you a very interesting project which is an AI powered media player. This media player can not only play video from your local system but also from online with the URLs. The thing which really stands out about this media player is that you can easily use subtitles and not only one but you can use two subtitles in two different languages at the same time both text subtitles and bitmap subtitles are supported you can also have ai generated subtitles with automatic speech recognition and for that you can either use faster whisper or open ai's whisper with two engines whisper.cpp and as i said faster whisper you can even do real-time translation which we will see shortly at the moment this media player is only supported at windows and that is where we are going to install it and we will see it in action there are various other features which i will describe shortly so let's first see how can we get it installed and working on your screen you can see the github repo of this tool and i will drop the link to it in video's description once you are there on ll players github repo on the right hand side simply click on releases at the moment the latest release is this 0.2.1 scroll down and then right click on the 7 zip file 7 zip is an um, uh, compression decompression software which you can download for windows linux and mac if you don't have it already just go to 7zip's website which is 7-zip.org and then for your operating system just right click and download and click on xe and that should get you installed anyway so i already have downloaded this 7-zip file of this ll player as you can see here right click on it extract all and it is going to extract this folder on your local windows system and then simply click on double click on this lll uh, player so let's wait for it to run and there you go so ll player is now running on my local system sometimes what happens is that if on your windows system you don't have dotnet runtime installed it is going to automatically ask you to install it which is i believe it supports dotnet desktop runtime 9 just click on install and it is going to install it for you also if you are using whisper automatic speech recognition or whisper asr then you would also need Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. Again, if you don't have it installed, it is the app will launch automatically and then just simply click next, next. That should in get it installed for you. Also, I don't have a GPU on this machine, which I'm using, um, but if you have a GPU, that would uh, make it just faster. Plus, if you are using GPU, make sure that you have CUDA toolkit installed with CUDA 12.8 version. Okay, so but I don't have GPU, so I'm not really worried about that. This is our LL player running at the moment. In the first step, I would highly recommend you to do is to just click on this cog icon on the bottom right. So click here, click on this cog icon. And then first step is that you see this is player and all that stuff. Just click on ASR and then just click on download a model so this is going to download the tiny model or if you want any other model model just click on download and then it is going to give you a lot of options if you have a bigger vram or gpu just go with the large larger the better but i already have the tiny so i'm just going to go with the tiny one also by default it uses whisper.cpp but as i said you can use faster whisper if you like i'm just going to go with whisper.cpp but if you want to use faster whisper just select that and also from this tab faster whisper okay so that's done another thing you need to do click on translate so depends which language you want um, it to be translated so for example if i want to go with indonesian italian or whatever language is there there is a long list of language you can check out from here so for now i'm just going to keep the target language as indonesian you can change if you like but don't forget to use the save and close and there are other goodies which you can see like you can check on themes but let's go with the default one save and close and that is it done now if you click on this tool and then click on control plus it is going to open a pop-up menu 
and that pop-up menu will be the same as the setting button and if you want to see the cheat sheet what commands are available click on the tool press f1 and then you will see these are all the stuff which is available you can copy paste your videos here and then you can change a lot of stuff like zoom in zoom out so let me now show you how you can use this tool i'm just going to go to my local system and then from desktop i'm just going to select my own video here and i'm going to drag and drop and there you go so video has hi everyone playing. this is fahad mirza now, and I'm i'll just pause it and then you see um, what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on the cc button click on asr auto and then come to the channel just keep an eye Meta on the right side released this new attention so mechanism and in this video and i'm going to explain it in see. as the simple English words as possible here. if you I'm click on the second that one you are a and machine click learning on maybe guru ASR or auto. you have built models from scratch the second subtitle will appear so here started. as you can see the attention mechanism and is then a you key can concept change used in large language models like uh, change it as you like like models. you can also auto translate attention they allow the model languages to now selected. choose relevant and information as I said, you can from a large other language data a language which you like just go to prediction. second uh, settings and then from translate and then just select whatever language you like there are a lot of languages by the way so i'm just going to select any uh, random language uh, from here maybe i will go with the urdu language and then if the that language is supported it is going to start by selectively paying that. attention to certain and parts of it takes input of a time and ignoring and others. by the way i have also seen In that sometimes not all the languages are supported each but each input token yeah. of you are a machine learning guru and similarly or you have now selected the arabic models from scratch and you can see that arabic is being so let's now get started done. the attention the right mechanism also is a ASR. key concept i'll just then stop it another um, cool thing is that on the right hand side you see these arrows if you click on them you can check change the slider over here so pretty nifty tool a uh, small little player you can also integrate your models like from OpenAI. even you can use olama based ones all you have to do is to just select it from the settings so that's it let me know what do you think before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot please also hit the like button so that the video will have broader reach as always i would highly highly appreciate the support thank you very much